Hi boys and girls. So today I am coming to you from my kitchen instead of my office. So why you may ask? Because we're doing science and it's not just any old science, it's a science experiment. And kitchens are awesome places for doing science experiments. You have your sink, you have lots of ingredients that also work great in science and here we are. So what we've been talking about in science for the last week or so has been the weather, right? And we've been keeping track of the temperature every day. Now the tool that we use to keep track of temperature is a thermometer, right? Whether it is the thermometer that your mom uses to see if you have a fever or if it's the thermometer that is outside on your garage or wherever you have it to see what the temperature is. They all work the same. They measure temperature in degrees. Now, you maybe didn't know this, but you can make a simple thermometer in your own house out of things that you have. Now you can't necessarily tell exactly the temperature, but you can watch the rise and fall of temperature. So, first thing that you're gonna need is a water bottle. Okay, I have a water bottle. It has a little bit of water in it, not too much. Next thing you're gonna need is some food coloring. I chose green just because it's real dark. It'll be easy to see. You'll need a straw. If you have a clear straw, that will work best. I didn't, I had this nice yellow straw. It'll still show the green real well. Play-Doh or modeling clay of some sort because you're gonna make a nice seal a bowl of really, really, really hot water, not just from your sink, but for, heat it up over your stove to have mom and dad help you, and some ice cubes, okay? So stuff that you probably have lying around your house, okay? So like I said, I have my water. Now I'm gonna add some food coloring to the water. Okay, doesn't take a lot. Maybe I'm gonna add a little more, I want it real, Nice and dark, okay? That is some nice dark water. Now I'm gonna take my Play-Doh and I'm gonna wrap it around my straw, okay? I wanna make it nice and tight, so I'm gonna have the straw right in the middle. You don't wanna crush it, but you do wanna make it tight. Your straw into your water. And apparently my water is a little bit warmer ready because it's starting to go up or it could just be that I'm squeezing it. Okay all right so I'm not squeezing it now it is nice and flat exactly the way I want it but I have a nice tight seal at the top so I'm not I'm not squeezing but I also want to make sure that no air is going to get in there okay now I'm putting it into my bowl of super duper hot water and we may have to wait a little bit let's see it's already oh you can actually it's going up pretty fast look at it go So we know that water is pretty hot because it is heating it up. Now I'm going to add some ice to it and see what happens. Oh, can you see it start to go down? It's gone down a little bit. It's gone down all the way because it is now in cold water. All right, now your assignment, boys and girls, is to find some supplies at your own house, make your experiment, and you can make me a video about it if you want to. You can take a picture of it when, it, when it's high. You can take another picture when it goes down. You can write about it, draw about it. However you wanna show me what you did, but I want you to do this and somehow show me and post your picture or video or whatever it is that you do back to Schoology. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.